to be a game collector. I mean, look at all these games. I just, and I even just recently got Kobe's Eventual for the NES and Game G. This all just screams, please like. But if you collect games for a living, you always get the question, what is your, what is your most real game? Well, today we're going to find out with the help of price charting websites. Price charting websites are basically like, you can look up a game and see how much where it is because of how many units sold, how many, how many years since it was, was released. Which means we're gonna use my laptop. This is the thing that I use to record most games. More, most of my games. Oh man, don't recommend this if you want a game, but I mean, still, do you like my wallpaper? So, as you can see, price charting websites, you search for something and you can do stuff. And basically what I just explained. First up, Romance of the Three Gigs. I've never played this, but okay. As you can see right here, not the best. I mean, it's still pretty, still pretty worth something. I mean, twenty-two dollars. Next, Miss Pac-Man. Let's see. Not really worth something. Ten dollars. That's bad. You, you, you're bad. Next, Super Mario All Stars plus Super Mario World. I I just recently found out that this was only a game that was bundled in with uh, limited consoles. So I'm just like, this might be... Okay, so more than all of the titles before us were not bad. I mean, the loose price is $34. This is a good boy. Just for some, just for fun, Super Mario 64. Let me see, what does that, what does that one? No, oh, no, oh, did not meant that. I saw that at a retail, there was like 85. Oh, hmm. that is actually not that bad. Next is, please do not play. Yeah, pretty. You're just as bad as Miss Pac-Man. Next is I have no idea what this game is. Actually, pretty good. Twenty dollars. You're better than Miss Pac-Man. <laughs> so I just finished on the Super One, Super uh, NES titles. Now let's go back to the other stuff. NES and also Game Genie. Pull stop. SNK. Okay, so I have no. Oh wait, NES. Are we won't doing us in here? I forgot that we won't doing us in here. Let me click on that. No, no. Okay, I did not meant to do that. Let me just. No, that's the second one. I don't want the second one. I want the first one. Hmm? Oh, here. Forty dollars. Again, or table scrap. Still not as bad as with Pac-Man. But you're kind of lame. Next is Techno Ball. Let's see. Eleven dollars. Ooh, Super Bowl. Basically Techno Ball. So for me to say, my mistake. It was called Techno Super Bowl. Huh? Actually, ten dollars more. I bet this is a big bottle of it all. Next Tetris. I had to play this in a while because apparently. Uh, it doesn't work, but, uh, let me see how much they would. Huh, I guess every game console has to have Tetris at some I finally find Tetris, it is $11, oh, you kidding. Next, Kobe. I mean, we can all ask on Kobe at some point. Very simple platformer. It's really good. That's 27? That's pretty good. Bad, bad, bad. Finally, the Game Genie. So... Instead of you, so the Game Genie is a video game enhancer. If you had a hold of it, this is uh basically you plug it in, you plug it this side, uh, the bottom into the game, the game cartridge in the top into the game deck. So basically, uh you, 
at the beginning of a game, you type in a code, and then it, and a cheat code, and then it, um, and then it, and then it go, and then it, uh, does whatever that cheat code does. So, um, yeah, I don't think this is gonna fight, uh, pop up at the price charting website site, but we could try. It actually appealed, that's a cool. Okay, so the loose price is $22. So overall, what's the best game I, that I have? So overall, my rarest game is Super Mario or so for Super Mario World being $34 with a close second. With a close second, being Kobe's Avenger at $27. So yeah, these are my two rarest games of all time. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please subscribe and, well, please subscribe and like. Bye.